Okay, so let's take a look at self-learning challenge number two from week two. Um, so we need to have completed um, challenge number one before we can try and complete this. And just as a reminder, um, in challenge number one, we wrote some code where we read in data from a CSV file um, into a list, into a list of lists, and we displayed that on the screen. So our second challenge is to again read that same file in, but this time we need to store the row of headers, i.e. the first row in the file, in a separate Python list. So we pop back to Spider. That means that as we're reading data in, we want to store this row as a separate list from our main movie list. So let's have a think about how we do that. So I'm going to type in Python CSV read first row. Okay, so it looks like actually my, my search engine's giving me um, some information here about how to do that. Um, so it looks like we can use this next function, but let's have a quick look at Stack Overflow in more detail. Uh, okay, so this person is asking how to read one single line of a CSV data file into Python. Um, so the answer is to read only the first row of the CSV file, use the next function on the reader object. So there they're opening their CSV as F. Um, they're creating a reader object using csv.reader um, and then they read in the first row using the next function which gets the first line. Um, okay, so I think that seems fairly straightforward. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in one single extra line of code um, and we're going to say create something called headers equals next reader. Okay, and then we're going to print out the movie list and then we're going to print out underneath the headers. And there we go. So here's our um, movie list. And then underneath that, we printed out our headers. And just to prove that is the headers, if I just comment that line of code out and run it again, it disappears. So you can see that the movie list and the headers are now two separate lists. And we've done that very simply by using this next function. And what that's doing is it's basically reading in the first line of the CSV file and moving the reader object down to look at everything below that. So then when you call list.reader, it reads in just the information, the, the actual data about the films rather than the headers.